You may have heard of it already, it's customer awareness levels and so many things that can lead to failure or success in your real estate lead generation depend on these awareness levels. What is it? Well, it's three things. Number one is what you want to offer. This is your type of real estate service. It can be a free giveaway in your marketing. Number two is where you offer it. This would be real estate marketing channels. And number three, how you communicate what you have to offer in a way to make potential leads and prospects act. That's your marketing message or sales copy. Let's make an example of different customer awareness levels so that even that guy would understand. The first one is unaware customers or leads. Now let's say you are specialized in probate real estate, in the probate real estate niche and want to target potential sellers. How would an unaware seller look like? As you may know, potential sellers in this niche are usually likely heirs. And these heirs don't know yet that without estate planning, the house they may inherit may go through a probate process. So they are literally unaware. Number two are problem or need aware potential customers or leads. Here the same likely heirs learned by watching a video from a real estate professional specializing in probate that they will likely have to go through a probate process. So that's the moment they identify the potential future problem in selling an inherited house without court involvement. Now what would solution awareness look like? Let's say these potential sellers have a pre are pretty normal humans and have a pretty normal human reaction to the problem and they don't like what they've just learned. The next thing they would do is research the problem and find different attorneys specializing in probates. And if you did a video together with this probate attorney about this issue, they might even find yours. The result of this research? Well, they conclude that estate planning is likely the solution and the best way to handle their situation. This is the moment they pass from solution aware to product aware. That's the next customer awareness level. What would they do now? Exactly. They found your video and are now digging deeper on your website. Now they find an interview style article where you cover the estate planning topic with the probate attorney you partnered with. And what a coincidence, it's not just an article, it's actually a landing page with a form where they can leave their email and contact data for a free consultation with this probate attorney. And they schedule an appointment. Thankfully, you picked the right probate attorney as your business partner and the free consultation went well. So you receive a referral from the probate attorney as you agreed in your partnership. Half a year later, the sad thing happens and the last remaining parent sadly passes away. The heirs choose you as their agent and the property sale goes pretty smoothly. Since you did a good job, they start to speak well of you and refer you to their friends. This last part is the main characteristic of a most aware customer. They know your services or products well, like them and are happy to refer you to their friends. The rule of thumb is that the closer a real estate lead is to a real estate transaction, the more aware they are. In other words, an ice cold lead is an unaware one and a very hot lead is a most aware one. Now, why make the whole effort and get to know all the different awareness levels of your potential real estate clients and leads. Remember from earlier when I said that so many things depend on the different awareness levels of your potential customers and leads. Here's a short recap. It's number one, the type of offer, what type of service you're offering, what type of marketing product or free giveaway you're offering. Number two, where do you communicate this offer, the marketing channels. And number three is how do you communicate what you have to offer so they take action? That's your marketing message or sales copy. So these awareness levels inform what type of real estate leads you have to target and what marketing channels you will have to use. Let's say you have a short-term income goal for your real estate business. Say you want 
to earn a certain amount from a real estate transaction in three months. Would you use Facebook or Instagram ads as everyone and their mother always suggests to reach that goal? I hope not. Why not you ask? Well, when we look at social media user behavior, we can often find a common denominator. Most people use these platforms to pass their time, be entertained and connect. They don't actively look to solve a problem or for a solution. This means that most are unaware. So someone doom scrolling or cat scrolling in their social media feeds may or may not be aware of having a problem or need when interrupted by your ad. I'm not saying that there are no problems or solution aware people there because there are. Still the likelihood is much lower to find them there versus using a Google search campaign and using keywords that scream problem and solution aware or calling expired listings or FISPOs. Why? Because someone entering the keyword probate attorneys in XYZ is much more likely to be problem or solution aware than someone on Facebook or another social media platform. Yes, yes, I know there are exceptions to that rule. If you manage to get your marketing message or sales copy right and also get the interest targeting right, you can mitigate this downside of social media. Emphasis on mitigate. However, again, as a rule of thumb on social media like Facebook, users are usually in a different state of mind and more unaware. This also means the leads you generate on these platforms need much more work. Why? Again, you will have to bring them from unaware, ice cold, to at least problem aware, warm. Working these leads means nurturing and following up with email, phone or retargeting campaigns, etc. Well, in other words, an omni-channel approach. Why I'm telling you this? It's because you don't just want to start with a marketing channel just because you heard someone say yeah look how i generated gazillions of leads and hundreds of thousands of dollars with tiktok ads really you could generate thousands of leads tomorrow on tiktok if you just offered one ounce of gold in exchange for one dollar and an email address would these leads be high quality absolutely not will they do what you want them to do for example buy or sell real estate i doubt it so Nope. When selecting your marketing channel, you want to base the decision at least on your goals, constraints, skills and customer awareness level. Oh, by the way, I have another cool diagram for you. It's an inverted pyramid. Look, what I illustrate on this pyramid is how the ideal marketing channels change with each awareness level. First, we have the ice cold prospect or lead unaware of their need or problem. They may think or well, not think selling, buying hasn't come to my mind yet. Again, this is the majority of Facebook or social media users. And again, it doesn't mean that once they enter social media magically, their problems and needs disappear. Wouldn't it be great if you just entered any social media platform like Facebook, TikTok, whatsoever, fill in the blank and poof, your problems are just gone gone. No, what I mean is it's again the state of mind what I mentioned earlier. They want to connect, be entertained and at most informed but not sold to. It's about dopamine. Next we have the cold prospect. They are aware of a problem or need. They may actually start to think for the first time after many many years, oh crap, I may need to sell my house. That's more Google users than Facebook users. Finally, we get into the warmer territory. See, I even changed the color for that on the pyramid. These prospects or leads are aware of a solution to their problem or need. What do they think? With whom's help can I sell or buy the property? These prospects are often Google users and even in a fewer cases, Facebook users. Now it gets hot we enter the territory of service or product awareness. The prospect's thoughts? I want to work with you, but I'm not completely sure yet. You've just left the realm of lead generation and entered the realm of sales to convert warm leads into clients to provide great value with your real estate services. Lastly, at the bottom of the inverted pyramid, we have the hottest leads. Well, actually, there are more repeat clients and customers than leads. They are most aware 
of services for their needs. And what a coincidence, you are their solution of choice. They now think you did an awesome job and I want to work with you again. I even know someone I will refer you to. Congratulations, you managed to create repeat business and get referral leads. That's the best leads you can get. By the way, the masterfully drawn arrow on the left side of the inverted pyramid shows how with each level down the urgency or need of your potential leads or customers increases. The prospect also gets closer and closer to a real estate transaction. By the way, when you qualify leads on the phone, you do that, right? It's basically scanning them for their awareness levels. And with qualification questions, you filter out the bad apples. So you try to find out their Neville, <laughs> their Neville, yeah, exactly. You know what it is. Their Neville. The Neville. So you basically try to find out their level of need and time frame, and also if they are the decision makers, if they have the money in case of a buyer, and if they are the decision makers. You don't want to talk with somebody who can't even make the decision if they want to sell their home or if they want to buy a property. As you can see in the pyramid, at least by checking on their needs, wants and urgency, you can learn whether your generated real estate leads are ice cold or warm. Like this video, then you may also like the next one about how you can speed up your real estate landing page A-B testing with ChatGPT. Oh, and if you want to get the only free course revealing the overlooked foundation factor for your lead gen success, you can find the link in the description. All right, see you. Thanks for watching and bye bye.